In PowerDirector 9, keyframes are used to custom set the individual parameters of a wide variety of tools, including effects, enhancements, motion, and particles. Let's take a look at how keyframes work in the effects room. For this demonstration, we'll choose the focus effect and drag it down into the effects track. Then click on Modify. And then on the keyframes tab. On the left side of the effects settings window, we see the available parameters that enable you to customize the focus effect. The right side is where we apply the keyframes for these parameters. At the background keyframe, Let's change the color to white. Now we can move the scrubber farther down the timeline. And by simply adjusting the slider at each parameter, a new keyframe is generated. You can now repeat these adjustments for each of the other parameters. And by clicking on the background and position diamonds, this will duplicate the settings of the previous keyframe. So now we have a focus effect that's customized to our desired parameters. To maintain these settings for a specific duration, move the scrubber to a new position that reflects that desired duration. Then simply click on each parameter's diamond to duplicate the previous keyframe setting. By using keyframes, you can also change the effect's position, or resize it, or give it motion. Your customizing options are virtually limitless. Though in this example, we've only demonstrated the focus effect. The same basic principles applies to all of the effects in the PowerDirector 9 effects room. Now let's take a look at applying keyframes to the Video Crop Tool in the Power Tools window. In the Cropping Video window, you will see the keyframe controls, a working screen, and a small preview screen. And by applying keyframes, we can now isolate a portion of the video clip, or apply zooming and panning to a static video. With the scrubber at the first keyframe, crop out a portion or an area of the video clip. Now move the scrubber to the last keyframe and reposition the crop. Perhaps we want to further modify our path. To do this, move the scrubber, add another keyframe, and again reposition the crop. During the course of our pan and zoom, we may want to hold or pause on a crop position for a specific duration. Simply move the scrubber for the desired duration and click on the double diamond tab. In the drop down menu, choose Duplicate Previous Keyframe. Your pan and zoom will now hold its position for the duration between the duplicate keyframes. Click OK and exit the Power Tools window. In PowerDirector 9, a keyframe option is now available in the Particle Designer room. With a particle effect in the timelines, click on Modify to open Particle Designer. Highlight a particle and click on the Modify Particle tab, and then on Modify Parameters. When we preview the particle, we see that all the values remain constant. So let's put a check mark in the Use Keyframe box. Now we can click on each individual setting, and by adding keyframes, we can change the values for each parameter with the keyframes. And now when we preview our changes, we can see the values automatically change as they reach each keyframe. Keyframes. They're the key to fully customizing your productions. Explore and experiment. 
so you can add that special customized touch to your projects.